City Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation 2150 Zulu. Wind 0, Niner 0 at 3 knots. Visibility more than 1 0. Sky condition clear below 1 2000. Temperature 1 Niner Celsius. Dew point minus 7 Celsius. Altimeter 2 Niner Niner 8 inches of mercury. Border City traffic extra five bike bikes departing 27 left southwestbound Border City. Mike Mike's on the left cross, went southwest, bound off a of 27 left Boulder City. Boulder City traffic, X25, Mike Mike's about to commence aerobatics down by the solar panels south the dry lake bed west of the highway, 4,500 to 6,500 Boulder City. Set up for a classic face to final skidding stall that results in an incipient spin. We're climbing through 5,200, reducing power to slow the airplane down. But I set power at about a typical approach a setting. The key to this maneuver is uh, watch the nose, how it uh, relates to the rate of turn, the bank angle and rate of turn. And then at the stall, what you want to do is reduce angle of attack first. That gets the wings flying again. You have the airplane under control. And you can reflect, re, uh, resume a normal attitude and recover from the uh, incipient spin. So here we go. We're going through 80 knots. We're in a left-hand turn as if we were on a base to final turn. I'm bringing the power back to a typical approach setting. We're out of 5,300 feet. Coming through 80 knots now. Now watch, if I try to cheat to, uh, let's say I've overshot and I try to cheat by adding too much rudder, and then I start bringing the stick back because the nose starts to drop, here's what happens, we roll up our back, stick forward, get the wings flying, correct the attitude, and then recover from the, uh, from the dive. Bring 
the power back in as the nose comes up to the horizon. That maneuver lost about 800 feet. Which would not be a good thing if you were on base to fly. Try that again, we're coming up through 5,000 feet. Reduce the power, slow down. George traffic, Skyline, Cap 4. Start the left turn again. Inbound on the VOR Alpha approach, St. George. 85 knots. And we're descending. Now watch the nose. At this point I'm coordinated, so the rate of turn, rate of uh, movement of the nose around the horizon looks about right for this bank angle. But watch what happens as I add left rudder. The nose drops, and the rate of turn seems to increase. And then as I pull the stick back over, we go stick forward to break the stall. Wings level, bring the nose up to the horizon, add power as the nose comes up. And again, we lost about 800 feet there. Now what happens, we're back through 5,000, I'm going to start bringing the power back. Watch what happens in a slippy stall, that is, I'm going to roll into a left bank. Again, just like we're flying the traffic pattern. This time now, as I slow down though, I'm going to add right rudder out of this left turn. And you'll watch the movement of the nose relative to the bank angle. It's almost going to stop moving as we're looking straight ahead. Stick comes back now. And watch what happens as we stall. Over the top we go. Again, stick forward, get the wings flying, level the wings, and then bring the nose back up to the horizon, adding power. The thing about those stalls, the slipping stalls, is they're a little less uh, aggressive than a skidding stall, but they surprise you because you're in a left bank in this case, and then you see the airplane roll over the top. That could be a little unexpected if you try to snatch that up with the with the uh, ailerons rather than, than correcting by reducing angle attack and then uh, using coordinated controls to level the wings, you'll be surprised. Now we'll take a look at accelerated stalls. These are This will be a coordinated accelerated stall in a turn. You probably had a flight instructor demo of this for you. We're going to establish a pretty steep bank, about 45 degrees of bank. We're going to just hold this bank angle, hold altitude. We're going to go to 5 Southwest, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, Southwest, South Station. Now, as long as we stay coordinated, even though we stall the airplane, you could, you'll watch for the buffet now. Out of this very steep turn. You can see there's no real tendency for the airplane to want to depart into an incipient spin. It just buffets, the wings stay pretty much at the right bank angle, and you can just recover by playing with that uh, angle of attack, reducing that back pressure. Do the same thing to the right. Even though we're in a very steep bank, as we bring that nose up, back pressure is you just relax that back pressure and the wing is flying again and there's no real tendency for the airplane to want to roll off onto a wing and depart. Alright, now we're going to look at accelerated stalls but in the vertical plane. We're just doing an accelerated turn except we're going up, uh, up and down, it's in a loop. You'll see that you can stall at any attitude, any airspeed. We're at 4,500, indicating 140 knots. We've got plenty of speed for a loop. Everything looks good on the engine. So watch what happens now as I stall the airplane during this loop. Up we go. Straight ahead pull. We're nice and smooth. We're not stalling. We're just going to a loop. We come over the top. We're a little light in the seat. So even though we're going slow, we're not going to stall. Now watch what happens as I come back down this backside, though. Motor City traffic. I'm going almost straight down. If I start to pull too hard, there's the stall. Let me come back over the top again. There's a stall. Motor traffic, Maverick. There's a stall. There's a stall. And there we are. demonstrate again, accelerated stalls, but in a vertical, it's stalling at any airspeed, any attitude. Here we go, about to enter a loop again. About 140 knots as we start this maneuver. Boulder traffic to advance. Upside down. North of the substation, 2,800 for the front line departure, Boulder. There's a stall. 
A lot of G, about five G's to get it to stall, coming down, accelerating. But you can see what happens. All we have to do is change the aircraft's attitude faster than its flight path, and we get a high angle of attack, even though we're heading downhill. Try another one. Here we go. that in a normal airplane you pull the wings off because you're pulling about uh, five to six G's. A little rolling recovery from inverted. What's an exercise I do with my students? We pull up, we do one and a half rolls to invert it. There's one and a half. We stop it and now to recover you just unload and roll the wings level. You don't lose any altitude and you don't build up excessive speed. You try, however, to do it by pulling through. Watch what happens. We're at 5,000 feet, 125 uh, knots. So I'm going to roll us. One, two, and now I'm going to try to pull through. I've got to pull the power way off. i got to pull hard. i got to pull very hard. We, but we're at 1,000 feet, 140 knots at the bottom, but that's because I pulled, I pulled about four and a half, five feet there. Not a maneuver you'd want to try to do in a uh, typical uh, normal category airplane, especially low to the ground. So again, the drill is if you find yourself overbanked or inverted, you want to roll wings level the shortest way and then recover. That saves you uh, altitude and airspeed. So here's the maneuver again. 120 knots, 4,500. So we go up, we roll, just like we got caught in wing turbulence. We're upside down, find the horizon, unload, roll wings level. That's why we do aileron rolls for practice to get comfortable with that sight picture. Boulder City Municipal Airport. Automated weather observations. Two, two, one, four, Zulu. Wind, calm. Visibility, more than one, zero. Sky condition, clear, below one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, niner, Celsius. Dew point, minus seven, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, six inches of mercury. Boulder City traffic, extra five, Mike, Mike, eight miles south-southwest, planet 27 left, Boulder City. For the Boulder City traffic, extra five, Mike, Mike, about five and a half miles out on the 45 for 27 left, Boulder City. Boulder City, extra five, Mike, Mike, two and a half, two and a half miles out on the 45, left traffic, 27 left, Boulder City. Boulder City, extra five, Mike, Mike, turn it left, downwind, 27 left, Boulder City, helicopter in sight. Copy on 5 one I got you in the site, should pass underneath you, and we'll be doing a power line departure from the substation at Boulder City. Boulder City traffic, X-5, white mics, turn it left, base 27 left, Boulder City. And I have uh, Mike Mike, you're on the pattern. It'll be full stop, 5 Mike Mike. Here, sir. Boulder City traffic, train 17 just south of substation 2.8 for the ponds, landing pad 4, Boulder City. Boulder traffic, can 90 is 10 miles to the east, descending through 4,500, we're landing at Boulder. Boulder City, 5 Mike Mike, short final, 27 left, full stop, Boulder City. Boulder traffic, can 80 is uh, uh, 7 mile final, 27 left, Boulder. Mike's clearing 27 left, eastbound Delta.